All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be going into plotting and right before I start scripting, first you want to go to your Julia REPL and go to the package manager and you need to install the package. So to do that, you wanna click type in add plots. I'm not gonna hit enter there because I already have it installed. After you installed it, you wanna check status and you should see plots in your library okay and once that you can go back to the REPL and you can leave it like this so for this file I'm going to be working I'm going to be calling this file within the REPL and you're going to see why in a moment but I'll go into how to call script files from from here okay so before we can actually use the package we actually have to call it so here we're going to type using plots and right after that, I'm going to type gr parentheses. So let's go into what's, what's happening here. So this is a backend, and it's a faster backend. You can check what the default backend is. It actually may be this already, but I like specifying it just in case. And the backend is how, how the plots are made, what, what, Compilations it's going to use. If you're using PyPlot, they use the matplotlib backend, and there's there's tons of different ones between TK and GTK and all these other ones. GR is just a faster one; it's a bit more optimized, so I like using that one. And using plots is importing the package. Package. So this allows us to actually call functions from this package which we need to have installed beforehand. So you have to make sure it's installed in your REPL. Okay, now let's make our ranges. So we're gonna have an X equals from zero, 0, 0.005 to one. And then let's first make a linear range. So we'll have M equals one, P equals zero. And then we're gonna have an F equals M times x plus b. Okay, now if I were to have this run right now, this would give me an error. And let's show what this error is. So to call a file from the REPL, you want to type include, and then within parentheses and quotation marks, you name the file. Zero four plus al for me in this case, run this. Okay, and you see we got an error right at the start. No method matching plus operation. It talks about the, the x variable, the x step range I defined, and then the int here. So this, this addition operation or element wise addition. Okay, so what's going on here is we have a vector and scalars all acting with each other and it doesn't quite understand what kind of math you want performed. So we have this m multiply this vector of numbers plus this b. Now if you're coming from MATLAB you, you know the element wise operation is using a dot and it's the same exact thing in Julia. You put a dot in front of these operations and now you're saying I want to do an element wise operation, meaning I want to multiply this m, this m equals one, to every value in this x. So from zero to zero, zero point five to point zero, one point zero, all the way to one. All these are going to be multiplied by m. And then this outputted vector, you also want to do a vectorized addition operation between this and b. And then this will work fine. Now in plot, we're gonna call x and our y. In this case, it's called f. We're gonna label it linear. And then we're gonna label our axes because we're good scientists and we label everything and give it units. In this case, it's all unitless. So F 
of x this is also unitless and then a title polynomials okay and then you can see here these have the that explanation point kind of similar to push and append it means that we're editing this plot variable and it's adding the x axis the y axis and the title all to the same plot display that we're going to see in a moment okay now we save this and now if we run it it should all run fine and there we go okay so another thing we can see here is our legends a legend is right over a line so let's say we want to move that Right, maybe we have some data here and we want to show a correlation over here, but this legend is covering it up. Let's move that. So legends equals and top left was pretty empty, so we'll put it over there. We run it again. And there you go. The legend's over here now. We have a nice line. Our y-axis and x-axis is labeled and it's titled and everything looks great. All right, now let's say we want to add more functions to this. Okay, let's make a quadratic. So same idea is we have to do a vectorized I guess, exponentiation. And instead of just doing the caret symbol, we have to do the dot caret 2. And let's add a cubic while we're over here. And it'll be the same idea. Dot caret three. Okay. And now this was plot. So the next I'm gonna call is plot explanation. It'll be x of g. We're gonna label it. This will be quadratic. And then plot again x h and this will be labeled cubic and there is our plot we see you got our three lines it changes the color of it it did the labels made our axes and it's all very pretty all right now one last part is Let's say we want to save this, right? We have our data, we made a nice plot. We now want to show it to everyone else. The last bit is you would call save fig. And you can call it whatever you want. My, my <laughs> awesome plot dot PNG. Save it again. Run it. Did that real quick. You see, I'll put it right here. Okay, and now you can kind of see, oh, there's like a little blur. It's not as polished. Okay, well, there's one extra flag that we can add. We can add DPI equals 300. Let's make it really pretty. Run it again. It can take a moment longer because now we want a higher resolution. Run this and ooh, see this is a lot cleaner. If we zoom in, well this only zooms in so much. But you can see it's uh, still got all this resolution. And cool. So that is plots. That's how you can get the figure and it outputs it out. And you can save it here. If you don't want to save it, you just take this line off. Now going into running it in the REPL. So if you were to run it in the regular Julia terminal, plots takes about 20 seconds to run. And usually when you call it for the first time in the REPL, it's, it's on that scale as well. It'll take about 10 to 20 seconds to run. And this is a known problem within the Julia community. And it's actually gone a lot better because before it was on the scale of a minute. <laughs> But it has something to do with how Julia compiles everything down, which is why it makes it really fast. But because Plots has so much stuff in the background, 
you know, you have all the GUIs, you have all the, the colors and the elements that you need to make all these plots. When you're compiling all that down, that slows it down a lot. So if you're running it from the terminal, every time you call Julia and you call a script file, it's going to compile all that stuff down every single time. So it'll take 10 to 20 seconds, and then you'll get your results. So if you run it within the REPL, the first time will take that, that 10 to 20 seconds. But then you saw as I was just continuously calling it, it was just outputting it quickly. Because now it doesn't need to recompile the, the using plots library. It's already compiled down, it can just work with it. So if you want it to run faster, better run it in the REPL. You call it the first time, first time will take a bit longer, and then after that it runs fast. Okay, now that is pretty much the end of the basic series. I'm going to have one more video on PyPlot if you want to use that library instead of plots, but it's not required, or I mean none of this is required, but it's, it's not going to stop you from going on to my next series, which will be the, the intermediate, intermediate series. But PyPlot is also another alternative if you don't like the using plots library, you don't like how Julia defines everything, maybe you're a Python user and you just want to use your normal matplotlib, well you can use matplotlib in Julia, and that's, that's the PyPlot library. So I'll go into that and show how you can run it, and uh, it also runs actually a bit faster than plots as well. Okay, so I will see you there.